and a hickory nuts. <laughs> he said nuts, that's funny. Okay. Bigfoot Wallace was as crazy an individual as they come. He could spin the yarn better than anyone. And while he was dangerous foe to his enemies, he was also a jovial giant who was always on the lookout for a good laugh. While with hunting and fishing and fighting Comanches and avoiding rattlesnakes, you know, because they are pesky triggers, Wallace had the time of his life in Texas. He said he wouldn't swap Texas for the whole shoot match, and that was the rest of the United States. Hey, there are other good states. That's not nice. Anyway, heard tell of one time when the Comanches raided Wallace's cabin back on the Grangeway. And took all his horses in the night, except for one gray mare that was staked on the other side of the house. He was so poor man, he jumped right on that horse and gave chase. Found them Comanches eating his horses, torturing and eating his horses over the next hill, which made him madder than a hornet. And hornets can be mad, that's bad. He stopped the gray mare in the hickory grove, tied off the cuffs of his pants and shirts, Filled his clothes with as many hickory nuts. He was rounder than Santa Claus and better armored than any other old time knight. He crawled through the grass until he was about a hundred feet from the camp. Take it in! Bigfoot shot one of the 42 Comanches in the camp and stood to full height. His massive figure was much enhanced by all those hickory nuts in his clothes. Took the Comanche more than a minute to recover from the sight of him before they attacked, shooting him all over with arrows. Of course, none of those arrows can reach Wallace through all those hickory nuts, because, you know, hickory's pretty hard. And the Comanches ran out of am ammunition mighty quick. When they saw Bigfoot still standing there, they let out a whoop of terror and ran for the hills. The arrows were three inches thick on the ground when Bigfoot untied his clothes and let out the rest to roll out. And wouldn't you know it, there wasn't one hickory nut that hadn't been split open. Being an enterprising fella, Wallace came back later with his wagon, gathered up them nuts, and took them home to feed his pigs. Well, waste not one, now I say. Anyway, I hope everybody enjoyed the tale. And thankfully, the peanut gallery did not chime in from the other room. Because, you know, I am an artist, and I can't be bothered by barking. <laughs>